Good. Well, uh, I'll tell you, uh, Jerry worried that he's going to hinder me. Lord help, uh, son. The Bible says he'll put us in a place where no man can hinder us. Uh, don't you worry about that. You just follow the Lord uh, today. It's always good. Uh, you know, the, uh, there's a peace. Every church that I've ever pastored, I, I hope and pray that I've left the peace uh, of God's love uh, behind and uh, that I took some with me too. Uh, but uh, good to have Brother Jerry here and uh, all the other visitors here. It's good to have Susie's brother uh, a bit, all the way from California. We're glad to have you uh, today. I uh, hope and pray that you'll... My, uh, my thing is I always want people to leave in a better way than they come in with. And uh, if you'll uh, if you'll give your just uh, undivided attention for just a little while to the Lord, uh, God will see uh, that you'll go with more than you come in with. And that would be our desire. But uh, we've already said that we've enjoyed, uh, we just enjoyed the whole week, uh, uh, how God's uh, blessed in a mighty way. And uh, we got some scripture that we fell out that the Lord has placed on our heart. And uh, all we know to do is be able to read it out of love. We got uh, our brother her earnest or brother Jerry to come on this morning, but I've learned a long time ago that they can't do what's mine to do, and uh, I can't do what theirs to do. But you pray for just a little while as we try. Uh, I told brother Jerry, I, I, I don't want to just give a speech. I want to get over to the hands of a living God and uh, let Him come in and, and give to the people what they need today. And, uh, if we'll do that, then we can all say that it's been good to be in God's house. But uh, we got some scripture that uh, uh, we uh, want to read in just a few minutes. But I want to tell you, uh, uh, the thought that's on my mind today is the choices that, uh, that you and I make that affect others. And I, uh, I want you to listen closely uh, to what God's Word said. You see down throughout time, huh? Uh, God began to uh, call on different ones. Uh, uh, was God? Did, does God need you and I today? No, He don't. God can do everything. Uh, uh, but He chose you and I today uh, uh, to be amongst His people today. And I uh, mean, if you're a uh, chosen of God, there's also a uh, uh, main responsibility that goes with being chosen uh, uh, for the hand of God to be laid upon you. When I was running for my preacher calling, I, I burned Kenny, I used every excuse under the sun. I, I to try to get out of doing what the Lord I, I would have me to do. But you know what I realized? I, I, now y'all just bear with me for just a minute. I, I realized the more that I begin to run, I, I burn the more folk just like Kenny talked about. I, I going over to Jerry's house delivering the gas. I, I, the more folks that was up, uh, that was that God put my life to remind me how burn that I was out of God's will how that I needed to be about how the Father's business I want you to realize today children how the choices that you and I make how burn there's consequences how to our actions today how they rejoice how any time today how that you and I can humble ourselves and get to a place Oh, where God can use us. But I want you to realize today, what choice are we making today? And is it pleasing unto the Lord? I've learned a lot of things. I might be pleasing unto this world that you and I live in, it seems like. In the day and time we live, there's more folks trying to please men than they are trying to serve the Lord. I want to that you can look in every way. I, I mean, there's certain things that they won't do in the church house anymore I, I, because it might I, I mean, run a little lengthy I, or it might get, they might get a little out of character I, 
but I want you to realize today, but I'd rather be out of character with the world and be in line with him any day of the week. But if you got your Bible and want to read along with us, and I want you to, uh, this is the story, or maybe it's in Paul's writing in the book of Acts. We're going to be in the 15th chapter, just a couple verses, and then we're going to maybe read a little more. How would you see that how was say Paul was going to and fro yeah. how and the Lord began to speak with him he wasn't mad how always mad how we may be how the brightest uh, group of people that he ever had how they was looking more at the things that he done in the past how than what God has laid on his heart to do how but I want you to realize today how that there's a reason today how that God speak to you and I how there's a reason today how I'm learning of the choices how that we think that we make how when God is really how directing you and I how when we didn't even realize it how y'all know the story about when how man they begin to stone Stephen how man and they begin how they wanted to put him how to do it because how man he was bringing how something that made them feel how a little uncomfortable how man he was teaching about how the power of God how man it made people realize how man that they wasn't in the same place and that he was how was the world trying to do to you and I today how they're trying to isolate you and I how man they're trying how man to put away how God's word how but I want you to realize I even know how man that they begin how the world was going to put Stephen to death. I mean, there was a man over there by the name of Saul. I mean, it was in the presence of this today. I mean, I want you to realize today, children, how there may be somebody in the month or midst of the day how that's in our presence how that's somewhere down the road how there's going to be a change in our life I and mean, they may look back on this day or is this day, I might encourage them, I'm going to do the right thing, I'm going to win the Lord, I'm going to wait just a minute, I'm going to may be more than I can get out, I'm going to remember when the Lord begins, how to speak, how to Paul, how many told the Lord, how he says I was one of the ones, how many stood over there, I was in agreement, how to slay one of your servants, how many I even I kept some of the remnants of the things that he had on. I mean, but I want you to realize today about the choices that we made. I mean, we may regret. I mean, it ain't the end of you and I today. I want you to realize today, church, that every one of us has made choices that may not be pleasing unto the Lord all the time. I'm going, but ain't you glad today? Oh, that God can overcome among anything in this world has to offer today. I mean, you look over there, and I truly believe this. How about when they begin? How to stone on Stephen? How about I would believe? How when Stephen looked up? How he said, I see Jesus. How about there was more? How about the testimony? How that he gave, how many he found, how it flies in place today. How brothers and sisters, I want you to realize, I'll even know how the things of the world may be looking upon you and I, or we might be at this door. How many ain't you glad today? Oh, through the God's marvelous grace, how many that we can look unto the Lord, how and see Jesus. Jesus, I'm yeah. in that presence huh? yeah. oh, that we have today. Huh? Oh, maybe a difference huh? yeah. oh, in somebody's life. Yeah. Huh? Oh, it may change them. Huh? Oh, they realize today huh? oh, that they're lost and undone. Huh? Oh, they've been living right. Huh? I'm burning when God. Huh? I spoke no Paul. 
I'm burning to you, God. God, give me help. Uh, somebody go with you. I'm uh, to help him on the way, but I'm going to read this. Uh, y'all pray. Uh, well, I forget to be minutes in the apostles. Uh, uh, and the elders came together to consider this matter. Uh, uh, and when they uh, uh, had been down in much disputing, Peter rose up uh, uh, and said to them, Men and brethren, uh, uh, we know that how good. Uh, a while ago, God made a choice among us uh, uh, that the Gentiles by the mouth uh, uh, should hear the word of uh, uh, the word of the gospel and believe in God uh, uh, which knoweth the hearts and bear their witness giving them uh, uh, the Holy Ghost uh, uh, even as he did unto us uh, I'm going to read over there in just a few minutes and I'm going to get to it uh, uh, but ain't you glad today church uh, uh, that God chose uh, uh, to speak to the sinners uh, uh, just like he did uh, yeah. uh, to his chosen people there the Jews uh, uh, I'm going to you realize you're going to give you a little history now. Uh, uh, the Gentile nation, they would look down. Uh, uh, maybe it's a low class. Uh, yeah, or as you well, and I would look at well, it today. Uh, uh, the people try to segregate them. Yeah. Uh, uh, they didn't want no deal with them. Uh, uh, but, but listen now. Uh, yeah. uh, the Bible said that God made a choice. Uh, yeah. uh, that he's just seen it. Uh, uh, the Holy Ghost down. Uh, I mean that they might have something uh, uh, like each and every one. Uh, yeah. uh, Aren't you glad today, church? Yeah. How do you realize today? Yeah. How that God made a choice? How when He seen His only begotten yeah. Son? How that whosoever will? Yeah. How shall call upon the name of the Lord? How yeah. shall be saved today? How yeah. want you to realize yeah. today, church? How it's through the choices how that God made? How that you and I today have the opportunity? How to hear what God is saying to you and I. How when Stephen went there, I mean, he could have made the choice. How to go another way. But he chose how to go with the Lord today. I want you to realize today, children. How when Paul was on the road to Damascus, he had a choice to make. How uh, didn't he? How uh, uh, he truly did. I believe he could have died right there. Uh, uh, and God would have sent him down to a devil's hell. How uh, uh, but he choked the Lord, did he not? How uh, did he not? Uh, uh, and you read over there a little later in the scriptures. Uh, uh, the same ones that Peter was talking about over there. Uh, uh, when God chose to talk to the, the Gentiles. How uh, uh, they went. How uh, uh, the Lord got through with Paul. Uh, uh, and he began to preach. How uh, uh, Jesus Christ. And him crucified. I mean, you know where the first place that Paul was sent to? How the light of the Gentiles was he not? How the priests left the word of God? How the same man that persecuted? How everything that they stood for? How I want you to realize the nature. church. How did mind your responsibility? How to make the right choices today? How I mind the choices that you and I make? How each and every day. Oh, oh, we think oh, oh, that it won't affect nobody. Oh, oh, but you just look oh, oh, the man of God. Oh, oh, stood up there and said, I just see Jesus. Oh, oh, man, how it affected oh, oh, so many down the road today. Oh, oh, man, you never know oh, oh, whether God might choose you. Oh, I'm going through the choice uh, uh, that you and I have today. Uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, and then you look over there and uh, say, uh, uh, where the writer said that for me and my family. How uh, uh, we choose to serve the Lord. Uh, uh, I want you to realize today, church, how uh, uh, you don't think God has given you and I a choice. Uh, uh, each and every day of our life, how uh, many He's given you and I a choice. Uh, uh, we can stand up and see Jesus. How uh, many we can walk through a dark lastly. Huh? Oh, I want you to realize today, children, huh? oh, you may think, huh? oh, well, it's not significant today. Huh? Oh, I'll just sit on the bench huh? oh, and be quiet today. Huh? Oh, but God might have chose you huh? oh, to be a carrier huh? of His Word today. Huh? Oh, you may say, preacher, huh? I'm not you. Huh? Oh, I can't do the things that you can do. Huh? Oh, no one can. Yeah. Right. Oh, we all got a Bible. Huh? And the spirit of our own calling. Huh? Oh, but I've seen. Huh? 
of great hair men and women. I stand up and be filled with the grace of God. I might have a bigger effect on the congregation than I ever could. Because they were willing to do what the Lord had for them to do. I want you to realize today, children, the importance of of our choices. Yeah. How many of us had a choice this morning? We didn't have to come. I'm <laughs> I hope and pray there was a longing <laughs> for your heart to come. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I hope and pray uh, uh, that each and every day of our life, uh, uh, when God gives us the choice, uh, uh, and you go back uh, uh, down to Adam and Eve, uh, uh, Lord, God gave them a choice, didn't He? Uh, uh, Lord, he told them not to partake of the forbidden fruit. Uh, uh, Lord, they had a choice to make, didn't they? Uh, uh, Lord, they chose uh, uh, in their wicked point uh, uh, Lord, to take that other fruit. Uh, uh, it cost them, didn't it? Uh, uh, I wonder how how many times uh, uh, church and I thought about this brother Jimmy uh, how many times we said Lord I'm just tired today uh, uh, I'll just stay at home uh, <coughs> or I won't say nothing uh, uh, they get tired of hearing of me uh, oh God help today do you understand church uh, oh, that we ain't guaranteed tomorrow uh, oh, that we don't know when the time shall come uh, oh, that the day's choices that we make uh, oh, may be on our children uh, uh, maybe on our grandchildren. Uh, uh, maybe on the more. Uh, uh, we never know. Uh, uh, so many times. Uh, uh, I've told people on the phone. Uh, uh, may I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, uh, God bless you today. Uh, uh, I hope and pray. Uh, uh, if I don't see you, I'll meet you in glory. Uh, uh, that's where we're headed to today. Uh, but it'll be a choice. Uh, uh, that God has given you. Uh, uh, by the Bible says, whosoever will. Uh, uh, man, that's going to be a choice uh, uh, that you'll have to make. Uh, uh, life or death, uh, uh, if you would have it. Uh, uh, man, there's a lot of folk today. Uh, uh, they had a choice. Uh, I man with Barabbas over there in the Lord said of Jesus Christ, didn't they? Uh, uh, he was going to let one of them go, was he not? Uh, uh, who did they choose? Uh, uh, could you imagine how God would just bless them uh, if they'd actually chose to serve the Lord? Uh, uh, could you imagine the glory that would run them out of that city uh, uh, if they had just chose to call upon the name of the Lord? Uh, uh, how many times, brother, you heard somebody say, uh, uh, man, the rich man, when he died over there. Uh, uh, he said, would you just send my address? Uh, uh, to warn my brothers uh, uh, the way to come. Uh, uh, I want you to realize today, church, uh, uh, the choices that you and I make uh, uh, each and every day. Uh, uh, we'll answer for uh, uh, one day after a while. Uh, uh, we're going to be held accountable uh, uh, for our actions today. Uh, uh, when old Paul uh, uh, stood for Agrippa, uh, he was held accountable for his actions. He, by what the Bible says, he said, I'm ashamed to say, but this is the truth. But I want you to realize, God made a way, didn't he? The choices that you and I make, I've had folks tell me, well, there's no hope for me, brother. I'm too far gone. Baron, if you got breath among you, in your life. How uh, we ain't too far gone. Uh, uh, brother Jerry, you talked about being up in age. Uh, uh, burn, I want you. I know I've told Ernest this. Uh, I burned Ernest preach here a couple of weeks ago. It was like he was a young man, didn't he? Uh, uh, burn, I don't believe there's no place for you and I to stop. Uh, uh, the power and glory to God today. Uh, uh, we'll give you and I strength. Uh, uh, the honor and glory to God today. Uh, he comes down. Uh, I'm able to give you and I. Uh, a uh, voice to tell others. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, that testimony that Paul had, uh, yeah. I bet he used it for the honor and glory of God. Did he not? Uh, yeah. uh, but when old Ananias go over there, uh, oh, when he told Paul uh, uh, to open up his eyes, he was talking about you see what God can do. Uh, yeah. uh, he wasn't blind. Everybody said he was blind. Uh, but he was blind spiritually. Yeah. 
actually came. Oh, until he got his eyes opened up. Oh, and he was able to see oh, what God has in store for him. Oh, you know what happened? Oh, the Holy Ghost come down in a mighty way. I burn up when God landed on his shoulders. I burn, he got a little bit lighter. I believe the load that he had. I burn, he made a choice. Oh, to carry the load today. You know what's wrong with the world today? We want to put our load on everybody else. I'm just going to tell you how many times earnest did somebody come up and say, Preacher, I just can't take this. No more will you help me. I mean, I want you to realize I'll help you all I can help you. But I can't carry your load. And you can't carry mine. But what we can do is ask God to give us the strength. I'm going to see it through. Oh, that our load may get easier. Oh, that our light might be brighter. Oh, that the way might be clear. Oh, I want you to realize. I'm going when Paul went over and he began to preach to the Gentiles. Oh, could you imagine what everybody then was saying? Oh, how was that unclean? I'm burning he's going to come back. How was something on him? I'm going to tell you something right now. How you listen to me, church? I'm burning God help us today. Oh, we can't humble ourselves. Oh, but for the mighty hand of God. Oh, that we can't lay aside our differences. Oh, and come on meeting for the Lord. Oh, we can't put our past behind us. Oh, and look to see the glory of God. Oh, coming down. Oh, you know, I've had a lot of funerals. I'm burning it. A lot of them were buried out of jail. I believe that there's only one going to heaven. I'm going to believe. I'm going y'all listen to what I'm trying to tell you right now. Oh, they believe oh, that when they're born, they're either chosen or they're not. I mean, there ain't nothing scripture about what they're trying to do. I mean, I want you to realize what the Bible says. God said, whosoever will, don't you call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. I mean, we've had the biggest arguments you ever seen. Oh, and all I can do oh, is tell them the words of Jesus. All I can do is tell them what the Lord has done for me. How they think. I mean, they don't even want somebody like us buried in their cemetery. I mean, I want you to know something. Oh, there ain't no grave. Oh, there ain't no casket. Oh, there ain't no vault. Oh, gonna hold me down. Oh, I'm gonna be in glory. But I don't care who's laying there with me. How they can come and go with me. Oh, if they want to. How they have to be saved, won't they, brother? How about I'm gonna tell you something right now. I'm burning, I've had a lot of both. I'll ask me, preacher, why you do the things that you do. I mean, there's certain things that I can't explain. But all I know is that when God chose me, He made me this way. And that's the only way that I can be. Oh, I can't be the Jerry way or the earnest way. But praise be unto God. Oh, I can be God's way. The way he intended you and I. Can you imagine? Oh, way and I so far, everybody's got a everybody's got a, a job to do, do they not? What's our job today? What choice are we gonna make? I thought about this so many times. I can remember when I was little. We had church, we had Sunday school, we had church every Sunday, Sunday night, conference Saturday night before the first Sunday and Wednesday nights too. <coughs> For a little boy, that was a lot of church, you know what I mean? <laughs> Man, it seemed like every time we turned around, we couldn't do nothing else but go to church. And I told Mom and Daddy, I said, Mom, I'll just stay home. No, no, you're not. <laughs> now, I remember them Sunday nights. Y'all remember when? <laughs> I'm burning the animal kingdom and Walt Disney World actually come on when it was good. It come on seven o'clock on Sunday night. 
Because our church started at 6 30. My Daniel Boone was coming on. I, I, Lord, I wanted to see every verse. I, I didn't want to miss it. We didn't have no tape recorder then. I, and Bernard, I asked Mama, could I just stay at home? She said, no, you're going to church. And Bernard, I'll be wrong when we get back. And I thought that was the meanest thing in other, but it was a choice that Mama and Daddy made. And Bernard, I couldn't understand it then, but glory be to God. Yeah, oh, glory. Yeah. Oh, I'm thankful that they made a choice. Yeah. Oh, they carry their children oh, to the house of God today. Oh, they didn't know the outcome. Oh, they couldn't look in the future. I, I made and see what was ahead. I, over a little boy. I, I, that all he wanted to do is run around barefoot and throw things at everybody. I, I, but glory be to God. I made the Lord had a different place. I, I made I want you to know something. Oh, you may think oh, the day that you ain't got a purpose in your life. Oh, but do you realize today, church, oh, that God chose you oh, to be up and above? Today, y'all heard me tell this a lot of times. Mom would always ask us, "What you gonna do when you get old?" And you know, I was a pretty good ball player. I said, well, "I'm gonna have me a white horse. I love the long range." I said, "I'm gonna ride over with my cowboy hat on down there to let him foot count stadium. I'm gonna be a ball player." <laughs> I, I, I can see it. And there ain't nothing wrong with dreams, y'all. I want, I want y'all to realize that. I hope and pray that everybody's got a dream that they can latch hold to. Baron, but I'm going to tell you what. We was in a tournament and I was pitching a hurt more. And I thought, Lord help. At that time, I was getting every college there was looking at me. I thought I had my way paid clear. But you know what? God chose a different road. And I thought when old Saul was over over there with Stephen and them, God chose to send him a new way, didn't he, Kenny? <laughs> but he didn't even know that he <laughs> But he knew exactly what uh, was in store for him. And I want you to look. And I want you to realize, how many Pauls do we have in this church today? Uh, how, each and every one of us. Uh, were we not sinners? Uh, uh, the Bible says we all sinners, saved by the grace of God. Uh, have we not all uh, persecuted? Have we not all talked about everybody? Uh, uh, but there ain't a one of us perfect. Uh, uh, but I want you to realize that God chose you. Uh, he chose you to be here this Sunday morning. Uh, oh, he's letting you go back to church for a reason, brother. The Lord. Uh, you know what? We don't know what that reason is. Uh, uh, but I believe in today uh, uh, that we need to be up and about the Father's business. Uh, uh, we don't know what tomorrow may hold. God may call us home tonight. Uh, uh, but I hope and pray there'll be something left behind. I uh, pray uh, that there was a difference uh, oh, in my life. Uh, uh, you know, there for a little while uh, uh, when the Romans were coming back, and y'all all know that Paul was a Roman. Uh, uh, they told Paul and uh, didn't he? Uh, uh, you're going to get you're going to get scared for your life. They're going to come over and take you. Uh, I'm burning, but aren't you glad that God chose uh, uh, to deliver him once again? Uh, uh, you see, God just keeps delivering you and I. Uh, oh, uh, from one trouble to the next trouble. Uh, uh, we think sometimes, Brother Jerry, that we get more than we play. Uh, oh, and I know that you and your family have been battling cancer. Uh, oh, but that's just one more thing that God can help us with. Uh, Oh, that's just one more stumbling block. Oh, that God can have honor and glory in. Oh, we talked about it yesterday, man, Susie. Oh, sometimes good things. Oh, good people have to go through suffering. Oh, just throw their light and shine a little brighter. Oh, to them that are in need. Oh, yeah. you hit the nail on the head. Oh, God, help us today. Oh, that we might look and see Jesus. Yeah. standing at the Father's right hand. Yeah. I want you to know something today. Come on, brother. Them stones didn't kill Stephen. Amen. <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> Everybody said Stephen was stoned to death. Yeah. You know what they done? They took him over and laid him by the gate. Yeah. The Bible says he gave up the ghost. Yeah. Woo! Glory! He went on to glory! Oh, because the Lord had a better way. Yeah. When he looked up and seen Jesus, man, the Holy Ghost come down. Yeah. Just like it did on Saul over yeah. there when he was able to see. Brother, you know what the Lord done when He saved our soul? 
the Holy Ghost of God come down. Amen. <coughs> and we've seen four precious souls saved in the last six months. Praise the Lord. Hector <clears throat> stood down there and prayed and prayed. God ain't never seen. Prayed a bunch of times, didn't he? But when he got it, he got it. Amen. The Holy Ghost come down. It made a difference. <laughs> Look at the difference it made on Todd's family. Yeah. Not putting him above the others, but you can see it. Yeah. Barry, when Paul walked in amongst the city, brother, there was a difference yeah. about him. Bearing the Holy Ghost of God, the Roman of God. Y'all ever been in a revival and you just walk in the doors and it seems like it was a fog going on? Yeah. Barry, when you could cut it through a knife, you didn't. You sang a couple songs and the altars would be full. Couldn't yeah. wait to get into the altar. Burdens because of the choices that you and I make. Yeah. Do you realize that? We can choose to serve the Lord or we can choose to die and go to hell and burn in eternal damnation. Mm -hmm. I choose to serve the Lord. I, 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 I really do, don't y'all? And the choices that you and I make today will help our children Mm -hmm. And our grandchildren yeah. and their children. I told Jerry, I said, I, I, I worry about the young folks, the young preachers coming on. Seems like now it's better just go get education and say a few words and make a good speech than to feel the power of God. Do you know why? The Bible says that uh, the Spirit of God, uh, uh, you, people, we, we, the body can't contain it. It scares us, does it not, Jerry? You remember the first time that you stood behind the book board you and I just think back. Yeah. The first time that God's power come in and you actually felt God's power. Mm -hmm. right. But I remember the first time it scared me to death. I couldn't, I just, it, it was in God's mm -hmm. glory and it come down and I just shut up. It scared me so bad I couldn't say another word and I sat down. Mm -hmm. Burn, but burn, it was just a few times I realized I, how I couldn't stand no more by myself, brother. I, how that power of God, and this time it come down, son, I got a hold of it. I'm burning, I never will forget the first time that I truly failed. I, oh, God's presence with His words. I, I'll become one. I, oh, that's what I'm trying to get to you today, church. I, oh, we must be in one mind, I, on one accord. I, oh, our choices that we make. I, I must be to serve the Lord today. I, Everybody talks about we're living in dark times. I, I've never seen the things that we've seen. I, I, do you realize today, church, I, I think God is testing you and I. I, I if we have a choice to make. I, I choose you. I, I just serve the Lord today. Who knows what God's got in store? Who knows what glory and blessings that God might bless us with? I've seen it in my life. I've seen the glory of God come down so many times. <laughs> I know y'all get tired of hearing my story, but you know what? God put me in them places for why. <laughs> you know what? I believe Paul's biggest thing when he stood up, he said, forgive me. <laughs> I don't know exactly what he said, but he said, I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm burning of the way that I live my life. <laughs> Uh, but let me tell you what's happened since the Lord got in my life. I'm burning, I believe then they could realize. I'm, I'm burning, it could also happen to them. Yeah. I want you to realize today, children, the blessings that God blesses you and I with. Oh, it can go on to other people. Yeah. I'm burning, it affects so yeah. many different ways. I'm burning, I've seen the power of God get out one person stand up. I, I'm burning, you'd be willing to do what the Lord had to say. I, Oh, and the whole church gets blessed. Oh, and next thing you know, the next one comes, and the next one comes. I, I'm there and I pray today. I, I'm very sure that I'd always make the path easy. I, I'm there that we might be I, I clear of the word. I, oh, that we might go out there and clear the path. I, oh, that the people might not struggle to walk in. And it starts with us. Mm -hmm. Does it not? Everybody says, well, it starts with a preacher. Nope. It starts with us. Amen. <laughs> Each and every one of us. You want to hear a good preaching, you pray for the preacher. Amen. You want to see folks saved, you get lost into the house of God. Yeah. 
you want to hear a good thing as you sing. My grandpa used to say, just rear it back, get a deep breath, and let it bellow out. <laughs> you ever seen an old cow get over there and run, the whole body just shakes when they bellow. But then you see that little calf come around in there. Baron, I want you to know something. I pray that the voice of God might go out and just such a bellow. <laughs> Baron, that all God's little sheep come running. Right. Baron, they will know our Father's voice, do we not? Uh, the children will know. Uh, Baron, I believe that I bought my heart. Uh, but it's up to you and I to choose. Uh, to, uh, to make the right choices. Uh, I ain't here to get on everybody, but I'm going to tell you, we got choices that we make each and every day. Uh, I'm married if the Lord bidding you come. I'm very tired. I ain't never seen. If you told me he'd been talking publicly, I said, y'all crazy. Uh, but see, that's how God can come in. Yeah. I'm tired if the Lord ever impressed on you, you just follow the Lord. I'm, I'm married he'll make you in a brighter way. Uh, you know, I want to tell you sometimes, church, uh, uh, the greatest thing we can do is just to sit back uh, yeah. uh, and listen sometimes. Uh, uh, the greatest thing that you and I could ever do. Uh, Oh, it's just hear what the Lord how oh, is trying to tell you and I. I'm burning, I want you to realize today, children, how oh, that the choices that you and I make how oh, can make a difference in somebody's life. Oh, I've actually had people avoid me. I know what Kenny's talking about. I'm burning, you can see them in the grocery store and they'll hide. I ran the corner lot that I didn't see them knowing good and well. I seen them. I'm burning, but I'm going to tell you what, I don't go chasing them down. How the Lord already said how oh, what they know where they needed to be how oh, without me even saying a word how oh, man I want you to know something today how oh, just because somebody ain't been in church don't mean you are going where how oh, grab them by the hair of the head and drag them in how oh, they won't do a bit of thing how oh, but you go home and you get that on your knees how oh, man you make you an altar somewhere and you turn it over to God how oh, man you let God get on that end how oh, man God can catch Oh, the biggest fish there ever was. Oh, oh man, he can load the net for you have to call for more help. Oh, that's the God that we serve today. Oh, I want you to realize the choices that you and I make. Oh, it's all because God chose you and I. Do you realize that? I've heard Amber say it a lot of times. She wants to be the little old lady that comes up and plays for the church. What a blessing. What a blessing. She's on her way, you know that. <laughs> Baron, she's on her way. Don't lose your dreams. But you know what my dream would be? That we'd all be gathered up in a moment and twig it up an eye. <laughs> without one spot, without one blemish. Being able to rejoice. <laughs> Forevermore. You know them folks that I loved? I really did love them. I thought my grandmother was the greatest thing on this earth. I ain't gonna lie to you. Boy, I'd have walked through fire just to help her. But I told her one night, I said, Nanny, I'll see you in the morning. I'm gonna be gone for a little while. And I said, I love you. And I didn't know that was the last time that I've ever get to see her. But you know what? I still remember. Come morning, I'll see her in the morning. I really believe that with all that in my heart. <laughs> you know, I don't believe she's going to have all that sweat running down her and her hair all laid down where she's sweating so much. And, but when you take great care and sit there and have a stroke of the always walk with a limp. She dragged that leg. We'd have great care. <laughs> Barry, but I believe I'll tell you what, that old leg ain't dragging no more. <laughs> Woo, I want you to know something. God's glory comes down in a mighty way, church. Yeah. I'm married, you know why? Because He chose us. I'm married, He chose you and I. He began, He stood us off by the wayside somewhere. I, oh, ain't you glad, Mama, that you was on the road to Damascus and God spoke to you? Yeah. Oh, man, He took off them blinded eyes and let you see a little bit. I, oh, ain't you glad that He went down to the fiery furnace? I'm married, He delivered you out of the very pits of hell today. I, Oh, I want you to realize today, church, huh, oh, that the choices that you and I make, I huh, may oh, will cause other folks huh, oh, to make the right choices today. Amen. How do they know? <coughs> the Bible said he spoke to Moses in a burning bush. 
What did he tell Moses? He said, you go lead my people. <laughs> go lead my people. Moses said, oh Lord, I can't. <laughs> Who shall I say sent me? He said, you tell them the great I am. <laughs> how many times you told the Lord you couldn't do it, Jerry? Yeah. Ernest, how many times you said, Lord, that ain't me, I can't do that. The Lord said, go. Remember when you got there, you realized it wasn't you that was doing it anyway. <laughs> the Lord done made the path. <laughs> Man, me, Ma, <laughs> thought about it a lot of times. Boy, if I know that was the last Sunday that she's going to be in church, I'd never let go of her. <laughs> we was having a good old time in the Lord. But ain't you glad that God chose her? Amen. Amen. <laughs> no, don't ever be ashamed, son. God presence goes down in my about y'all but I know this COVID's bad and I know we're all scared but I'll tell you something right now I'm one day closer today than I was yesterday Amen. but I believe God expects us to be about his business everywhere Paul went he was seeked after they wanted to destroy him do you realize that? About how the preachers are today. I'm just being honest. They don't want the word anymore, Jerry. They want enticing words. But I'll tell you what I'm standing for you. The power of God and the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming down upon your soul, you bound down in the old-fashioned altar broken heart and a contrite spirit asking God to come on the scene. Amen. That's the only way I know, Richard, that we'll ever make it. Amen. I've been saved since I was 10 years old, 1979, Pleasant Hill Baptist Church in Africa, Georgia. But I still have to ask God to help me. Amen. Do you realize that? Every father, every mother, I don't care how old them kids get, you want to hear from them. You, yeah. you want you want to be around them. Amen. You want to make sure they're okay. God is no different. God wants to hear from you and I. That's wrong. But when we got a kid need, I remember I'd go running to mama and she'd put something on it. That old back or that's real good stuff that burns your leg on fire. I'd almost rather have the the cut than I would that stuff. <laughs> but mama would blow on it. <laughs> Burning that, that fire and that steam just quit, wouldn't it? Next thing you know, we'd be out there playing that band aid be off, we'll have another one on the other leg. <laughs> How many times has God looked down? Yeah. Put a band aid on you and I. Took us up in his arms, yes, held us close, and just loved us a little bit. Yeah. Said, son, this is going to be all right. <laughs> I got you. I want you to realize, church, that God's got us in the very heart of His hands. It's going to be all right. One way or another, man, we're going to go home to glory. <laughs> man, it may be tomorrow, it may be a hundred years from now, I don't know. But I'm going to be ready to go because the Lord chose me. I don't know if you've got anything out of message. Denise Winnell, I believe they want y'all saying it is a match. <laughs> One of the prettiest songs I ever heard. But I can only imagine <laughs> God's glory. Amen. But one day after a while, <laughs> we're going. It's going to be reality, brother Kenny. Amen. It's going to be a real nation <laughs> when we stand before the throne, praising God forevermore. Amen. I believe He's going to call. Yeah. I don't know what my name's going to be. The Bible says we'll have a new name. Yeah. But I believe when He calls my name, I'm going to know what it is. 
I love you this morning, church. And I want you to realize today that the choices that you're